Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Let's Play Stormblood. I must apologize for our dual lengthy episodes the last couple times, and apologies for my probably 20 minute long rant. I have not timed it at the time of this recording. So, we're here in the aftermath of the destruction of Dalma Castle. Serena, are you crying? You are. I'm gonna have to give you a hug. Yeah, we got some splaining to do. Mm. Yeah. I think we lost one, guys. Yeah, okay, nobody has anything new to say. Alright. Seems a lot of us are at a loss for words right now. Well, I don't have fear of drowning either, but at the same time, uh, yeah, I still could, could get crushed to death, but maybe he's either a better swimmer or their shells and or scales better help protect them. Well, we did flood the place, so it's not impossible for the floor to just collapse from the weight and the power of the rushing water. Go Kaylee's? Um, okay. Well, it wasn't really their job, but... Alright, you don't have to say anything. Yeah, we haven't been there. Oh gee, thanks.
I mean, I suppose it's in character for him, but... <laughs> we brought everyone here. You were the last to arrive. I see. Thank you. We owe the Confederacy a great debt. I have waited 25 years for this moment. You owe us naught. Well, that was simpler than I thought that was going to be. It's taking a while to get all these people here. Look, it's Lord Hien. Yeah, it's that guy that made the armor here too. Lord Hien. It's him. He lives. He lives! Some few words of encouragement would not go amiss, my lord. Uh, right. Uh, yes, uh, of course. <laughs> Hearing you say that, I find my courage somehow renewed. Much obliged. We are a sorry lot, are we not? Tired, dirty, stinking of blood and sweat and ash. The people push to the point of breaking. And yet, we won. The perseverance to endure decades of oppression. The will to carry on the legacy of those we have lost. These were the bonds that held us together and gave us the strength to reclaim our home. After 25 hard years, the shadow of the Empire no longer darkens these lands, and we may at last look forward to the dawning of a new day. But, my friends, it will be a day of work. So I ask you, have you yet the strength to stand? To rise up with me once more, here and now, and begin to rebuild our homeland? Dama! 
Aww. Giant group hug, everybody. This will not end with Doma. We will see to that. Right, Lise? Right. Indeed, this is but the beginning. The tide is turning, and it shall soon bear us back across the seas and onward unto the next battlefield. So, should we call up the others and tell them of our victory? Oh, hey, look, it's the armor guy. Now, do you believe me? I told you he was alive. It's all right. Like, like I said before, these these people at least properly explain to us, you know, how you know they they were so beaten and broken, but they were not exactly thrilled with themselves for for their complacency to imperial rule. But they felt it was the better of the two options, you know. Everyone's all in the dang docks without me and everything. Yes, take me back to cross, please. My friends felt a need to ditch me. Hey, sorry, man. I thought your friends called you. No, they're having a party and I'm not invited anymore. So, what next? Yeah, let's not give them time to, to redouble their efforts to to keep a stronghold on Giribanya. Okay, but if you ever make me pay the ruby tithe again, we're gonna have to have words.
Bye, guys. Yeah, we're not even going to say goodbye to Hien and, and Yugiri, but I'm sure they understand. They got bigger things to worry about for the time being. Alpha, no, you spend quite a bit of time in Kukane. <laughs> like you spent half the episode so far there, have, have you not? Aww. Yeah, let's get ourselves some fancy new pants. I don't think anyone has anything new. Okay, good. So we did call her. Don't wish them luck. They're freaking pirates. Oh, yeah. I can't use them out here. Derp. Oh, we're gonna have to travel a long way. Lissai. Thank you. Good to see you guys. Oh, like she's gonna trust you. Well, she kinda has every right to, so... Oh, she's even gonna see us off. Well, off and on, do you still want to punch him in the face after all he's done? Oh, what kind of souvenir? That's the thing. <laughs> what do we take home after all this, you know? Like, I liberated Doma and all I got was this crappy t-shirt.
Okay, nobody else is here. Okay. Ah, there you are. All packed and ready to go? To the best of my knowledge, yes. Apologies for the wait. The task of tying up loose ends invariably takes longer than one allows. Happily, however, all now seems to be in order. Then there's nothing left to do but to board the ship. Do try and enjoy the journey, won't you? It may be your last chance to rest for a while. That would depend on the good captain's choice of route. Yeah. As ever, Tataru, I pray you take all due precautions while making your inquiries. Better to avoid the local authorities altogether than risk a repeat of our Ishgardian episode. And what sordid episode is this, pray tell? Not to speak of, I assure you. You there! Hold that ship! What are you two doing here? Shouldn't you be in Doma? Yeah, you got here fast. Shouldn't you? You left with nary a word. We half wondered if I had done something to offend. Upon learning that you had departed for Kugane, we immediately resolved to give chase. Our comrades can manage affairs in our absence, and it seemed the least we could do. You mean you came all this way just to say goodbye? That too, I. But there was something else I felt I had to say. You helped us win our freedom, and for that I cannot thank you enough. Accordingly, after we have established an interim government and so forth, I think it only meet that we repay the favor by dispatching our own forces to Eorzea. If you would have us. Aww. We harbored no expectations of such generous aid, and as there is no telling when the Empire might strike back at you, would it not be wiser to concentrate your resources on the defense of Doma? Yeah, that's a good point. We don't know if the Empire is going to have nothing of this and be like, no, 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 we're keeping you. I had a mind to pursue a more aggressive defense. To wit, we will send forth Shinobi to provinces far and wide to spread word of our victory, that we might inspire others to take up arms as we did. Even the Empire has its limits. If the Garleans cannot be certain where and when the next rebellion will take place, how can they commit another force to Doma? And besides, so long as this debt remains unpaid, how am I to face myself? And Gorsetsu. As you wish. I will relay your offer to the Eorzean Alliance. All of Doma is counting on you to finish what we have started. You have it in you, Lise, to seize the future you want. Never forget. I won't, Hien. Not your words or anything else. Everything that led us here, that will drive us forward, I'll carry it with me always. And that's a promise. <laughs> I will hold you to that. Go with them to Eorzea. Tell their people of our triumph and of our pledge to stand with them. By your leave, I shall pave the way for our new alliance. Hurry up, you lot! The ship's about to weigh anchor! Okay, one final group hug. It seems our time is at an end. Go well, my friends. And may we meet again beneath a western sky.
So yeah, Yagiri's coming back with us. Uh, I hope there's enough room on the ship and the captain is not going to mind. You take care of yourself, the Tyro, okay? So yeah, I actually just put in the description of one of my episodes that I could have sworn there was a line of dialogue about Alphano and Tataru getting arrested in Ishgard and Alize not having known about that. And yeah, this is where it occurs. I'm glad to see my memory was not mis entirely misplaced. I always knew that woman was unfit for command. Aye, when you think of all the resources we poured into that hole, and for what? Beast yet lives. Mayhap it is time I sharpen my claws. I wonder, will you walk into my parlor once more? Padala Rem Lupus, come at the command of the Lord Viceroy to present the prisoner taken by the Cranier Lupi. Oh, oh, hell no. No. Zenosie Galvus, I presume. It's true what they say. You do have the eyes of a monster, a ravenous, insatiable fiend. Okay, I, I don't think now is the time for your quips, Kryle. You, give the butcher your weapon. My, yes, my lord. My lord, this is. A reward given in recognition of your service. I trust it will prove more capable than its former owner. I... I swear, I'll not disappoint you, my lord. Good. Now, silence that mewling little piglet. I would not hear another sound pass her lips until I strip the fat from her. Yeah, suffice it to say that things um, are may not be going so well back home. Yeah, so apparently we're going to brief the Admiral while we're in Ooh, excuse me, while well, we're still in town. And that seems like a fine idea. Like, why call a meeting if she's literally right down the corridor kind of thing? Perhaps she can spread word to the rest of the Alliance faster than we can. 
All right, so I'm gonna just talk to everyone just real quick here. I think anyone really has much new. Okay. All right, so that's gonna be it for for this episode, and hopefully soon we can find out the fate of what's been going on on the Girabanyan front this whole time. We still haven't heard anything about what Thancred's up to, about what Uriange has been up to, or heaven forbid how Yastola is doing. Like, how have they failed to mention this at any point? You know, like, anyone check it up on her? Anything? Like, kind of gravely wounded last time we saw her. Hopefully she is, uh, doing okay. I hope. Alright, so thank you for watching, my friends, and I shall see you next time.